Konnichiwa, bonjour, hola. Let's dive in. 15. Natalie Portman uses her grandmother's maiden name when she acts, but her non-stage name is Natalie Hirschlag. She was born to an American mother and an Israeli father in Jerusalem, Israel. She didn't actually live in the United States until just after her third birthday, when her family moved to Washington, D.C. That being said, she claims to feel more at home in Israel than she does in America, and she makes frequent trips back home between filming sessions. Hi, I'm Natalie Portman, and I'm going to take you through some Hebrew slang. Um, Lizrom means to flow, if you want to like flow with things, go with the flow. 14. Mel Gibson is only going to surprise you if you're from the younger crowd. Back when his career was first starting up, everyone knew him as the Australian actor. All of the original Mad Max movies were filmed in Australia, and most people assume that's where he's from. Listen to that accent. Oh, I think perhaps physically, but I think once you start to jaw with me a bit, I don't, I don't think I'm, I don't, certainly don't try to intimidate. But that's wrong. Mel Gibson was born in Peekskill, New York. He was 12 before his family moved to Sydney, Australia. 13. Keanu Reeves isn't a stage name, but a lot of people still don't realize that he wasn't born and raised in Canada despite the accent. Instead, he was born to a British mother and a Chinese Hawaiian father, while the pair was in Lebanon. He then briefly lived in Australia where his younger sister was born, before the family bounced to New York City and then finally put down roots in Toronto, Canada. I've always um, seen you kind of honoring uh, your Asian roots through, through martial arts. What got you interested in it? I had a brief section of studying Aikido when I was a kid. 12. It's not a surprise that people think Emma Watson is British, considering the magical path that brought her onto the silver screen. But she's actually from Paris, France. While her mother and father are both British-born lawyers, they lived in France until Emma was five years old. It wasn't until Emma's parents got divorced that she was brought to Oxford. It's hard to get out of her pas, to abandon her way of being. You know, it's really comfortable to play Hermione for so long. So I've had to cut certain barriers, but it was agreeable and very liberating. Does this break J.K. Rowling's British actors only rule? What do you think? 11. One of the most common household names on this list is Nicole Kidman. She's arguably the most famous female film star to have come out of Australia. Except she didn't really come out of Australia. Sure, her parents are both Australian natives, but they were living in Honolulu at the time of Nicole's birth. They moved her back to Sydney when she was four, and she still maintains a dual Australian and American citizenship. How many stars are there on the Australian flag? Six. I actually had to Google that. Okay. Who was Australia's first female prime minister? Uh, Julia Gillard. What about you? Are you a citizen in more than one country? Let us know in the comments. 10. Portia de Rossi speaks like an American, simple as that. There's no trace of an accent on her tongue. Because of that, it's easy not to realize that she was born in the Geelong area of Melbourne, Australia. She lived there for 20 years before moving to the United States, a far cry from most of the celebs on this list who made the move when they were fairly young. 9. Samir Armstrong had a memorable stint on The O.C. and another on The Entourage, both very interesting shows, which fits considering she had an interesting upbringing. Samir was born in Tokyo, Japan to an Italian mother and a Scottish father. During her childhood, she also lived briefly in China, Malaysia, Hawaii, Arizona, and California. She moved out to Los Angeles after graduating from college. You could say that she's been around. Hey guys, it's me. So, so long, so long, it's been so long. Eight, Amy Adams is a rising star with a very American sounding name and absolutely no accent. We suppose that it's easy to mix her origins up. The truth is that Vicenza, near Venice, was where she was born. That's right, she got her starts in Italy. As a military brat, Amy Adams bounced around from base to base for six years before her family settled in Little Rock, Colorado. And it's had a huge impact on her, as this clip shows. Amy Adams showed her thanks to a military man by trading seats with him on a flight from Detroit to Los Angeles, giving up her seat in first class to sit in coach. And while she might have wanted to keep it quiet, people who witnessed the act of kindness wanted her to get some credit. 7. Mila Kunis got her start on That 70s Show as Jackie Burkhardt. Considering the series' runtime, it's hard not to associate her with Americana and all the culture that goes with it. But she was born in Kiev, Ukraine, and spent the first seven years of her life there. She claims that she learned English by watching American game shows like The Price is Right. She hasn't gone back to Ukraine since her family first left it, 
And when asked about it in a recent interview, she said that she wasn't certain if she ever would. Okay, yes. I think, you know, I have a probably some like movie oriented imaginary, ver I mean, like I imagine everything in Ukraine to be black and white. That's because it is. It is, wow. It's weird. <laughs> That's it's weird. remarkable. Chernobyl really did a number on that country. <laughs> we guess sometimes where you're born doesn't always have to be what you consider your home. Six. As the richest man in the world and one of the most top-of-the-line inventors, most people associate Elon Musk with California and the Silicon Valley. The truth is, he was born in Pretoria, Transvaal, South Africa. He got a Canadian citizenship through his mother and then came to the United States as a student. Now, he's the founder of Tesla Inc. and several other companies with leading footholds on global technology. My grandfather was actually American from Minnesota. Um, and my mom, um, uh, my mom was born in Canada. So I, I do have some like, uh, American uh, background. Five. Gene Simmons is best known for Kiss and of course that epic tongue. He spent most of his stage life wearing the heavy black and white face paint that the band was known for. But his birth name is Chaim Witz and he's originally from Haifa, Israel. Not what you were expecting? It's not what most people are expecting when they start looking into his upbringing. It wasn't until long after his family moved to New York that he changed his name. First to Eugene Klein, and then later on to Gene Simmons. Four. Dominic Monaghan is normally known for one of two things. First as Mary from Lord of the Rings. Second as Charlie Pace from Lost. So a whole lot of heavy British accents being tossed around. Because of that, a lot of people make the assumption that he's British himself. Actually, he was born and raised in Berlin, Germany, where he spent the first 11 years of his life. That being said, his first language is English, and his German is rusty at best, according to a recent interview. I was in Berlin born, and I was in Berlin, and uh, Düsseldorf, and Münster for 11 years, and then I came to Berlin with my brother, Matthias. Three. Joaquin Phoenix is an oddity because his four siblings, River, Rain, Summer, and Liberty, were all born in the continental United States. He, however, was born in Puerto Rico. The reason? His parents had gotten involved with the Children of God religious cult and were traveling around Latin America with the other members of it. It wasn't until Joaquin was four years old that his parents left the sect and moved to the Los Angeles area. Honestly, his life is one that's worth looking into. It was a tumultuous, trying thing from a young age, and as we all know, it never quieted down. Oui, merci. Vous parlez pas français du tout. <laughs> That's his French, right? C'est tout ce qui s'est dit. I heard that he appeared. I mean, oh, boring song to use. I want to feel my somebody. Two. Charlize Theron was recently voted sexiest woman alive and given a Best Actress Oscar. Between that and her modeling career, you would think that she was well known enough for people to realize that she was born in Benoni, South Africa. Her flawless American accent tends to trip people up, however, and they don't realize that her first language was actually Afrikaans. She didn't move to Milan until she was 16 in pursuit of a modeling career. And the good thing about Afrikaans is like 3% of the world's population speaks Afrikaans. Yeah. So you have a pretty good shot. That Absolutely. Nobody is going to understand you. Yeah. One. Freddie Mercury wasn't actually British, and most people know that. But did you know that he was from Zanzibar, Tanzania? Yeah, that isn't the guess that most people make. His parents were of British Indian descent and moved to Zanzibar for his father's job. Shortly after he was born, they moved to India, and that's where Freddie spent most of his youth. He didn't actually settle down in London until 64. Oh yeah, and his birth name? Farouk Bulsara. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.